Hey, this is Mass X with a new One Punch Man, the strongest video, and we're gonna talk corrode teams, but we're gonna talk in particular Glory Boss. Why? Because he is a character that, even if you're free to play, is a character to be striving for, and if you're a slight spender, he is definitely a character to be striving for. First off, all you need to do is activate him. Once you get to that point, you can use other means in the game, in particular extreme training. Why? Because those shards will drop for you if you use that character in your extreme training. So it is a means to an end with him. Gurry Boss has longevity in the game for a while. And why is he so good? Well, first off, okay, let's just go through what he's got going on for him. He attacks a single target with two combo strikes. Let's just ignore all that. We don't even care. Dealing crit damage has a 100% chance to inflict the main target with corrosion. Okay, for two turns, 15% attack is DOT. His second one, we don't care about the beginning. There's a 100% chance to inflict the main target with corrosion. So you have two means to inflict corrosion with him. So what are the keys with him, okay? You're gonna wanna gear him for speed and crit because you want that corrosion to go off. And that's what makes him so solid. But he's not the only piece to the puzzle, okay? Vaccine Man is the counterpart with him. Why? Vaccine Man's passive, and especially if you can get him to five stars, is when he really kicks royal butt, is when enemies suffer DOT, deal extra damage to all enemies by 70% DOT damage. Only one effect of the same type works throughout the whole battle, permanently increases, yada yada, we don't care about. These two together can do a tremendous amount of damage on a corrosion team and these two together when built up are just absolutely phenomenal when you have to go for a complete villain slash monster lineup you work them together in a team where you can get some shatter you can get some reflect and this is the team I used last time which I was able to get through first place on the tournament with and the, what it was doing was just deteriorating the other team too fast for them to kill me. And these types of teams actually with lower BP than opponents can win mattering on who you're playing and can win pretty significantly. Now in Arena, this is the team I have been using where you can mix both sides of the characters. I'm not 100% behind this team yet. It's been pretty productive. It's kept me in the top five, no problems. And as you can see, you can see already how quickly the other team starts to disintegrate. And that's what makes corrosion teams so good. And there are counters to them, which I will get into at a point in time when it becomes more meta and more people are playing them. But they really, if you can get the speed and crit on your Glory Boss, to really hit right out of the gate, I, I always want him to go first. And I want him to crit because I want all three to take some significant damage right out of the gate and then for it then to build. And like I said, your Vaccine Man doesn't have to be crazy. The key is to get him to five. That's where it really maximizes. But as you can see, the, the breakthrough and the damage they're taking just annihilates the team so quickly. Now again, this is a long plan for Gory Boss, especially if you're a nominal spender or free to play. But the reason why I'm bringing this out in the open right away is because it's important to find those niche characters that have some longevity in the game because at the beginning of a game, so many characters drop off after three months, five months, six months, but there's always a handful that make it forward. And Glory Boss has that ability, so does Vaccine Man because of his passive, at least at this time. So if you can get him either by, through mutual aid, extreme training, 
or of course the mystery shop when that pops up for you because that's where they're always available. The problem is they're 300 diamonds so that is expensive and it's tough for a free to play player but again put it in the planning phases it doesn't have to be overnight it's a solid character it's a it's it's a combination that you can use and you can even start messing around with it early by using some of the corrosion characters that are available to you that are much easier to get for instance kombu kombu was the character i was using first before i got glory boss and i was effectively using this character with vaccine man because vaccine man wasn't as difficult to get so I was building Vaccine Man, I was using Kombu until I could build up my Grory Boss until it got to that point. So you can look for other types of corrosion characters out there and start putting them in your team. Again the key is going to be to corrode as quickly as possible on that first turn and to have your Vaccine Man up as high as possible. It's just a solid team that when you get them together, you're going to be able to use them for a while and you can use them in all aspects of the game, which is nice. I use a corrosion team all the time in all different modes to get through different levels because it's effective. If you stay long, alive long enough, you're going to kill the other team. That's what makes it so nice. So I just wanted to talk about that team because it's one of those teams that has a bit of longevity and actually there will be more characters and items that will come out to help benefit that team down the road. So if you're looking for something that you can grasp onto for a while, again, it's a long-term plan, but Glory Boss is one of those characters that is, it's fun. And once you get that unit together, you can keep that and it will be effective for you to progress in the game in all aspects. There you go, my two cents. With that, as always, please like and subscribe. It helps so much. Take care.